<laughs> Maybe we should just do the videos like this. Hello! It is really high, isn't it? Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to another unboxing video! Today, we're looking at something that isn't actually technically Jurassic Park related, even though it is by the worst means necessary. What we definitely do not condone, and that is piracy. What? Allegedly. Me and Winnie, we were, you know, we were shopping around, we were hunting around in Costco, when I came across something that was quite interesting, beside the, you know, giant mechanical skeletons talking to me. We found this! Oh, it's that long boy. Come on, come on, I catch it. Oh, These buggers, these monstrosities. Uh, I, it is, uh, do they even have a name? D who made them? This is a thing of beauty. Legitimately sold at a shop. It all being Costco, for God's sake. It has recasts of the Jurassic Park 3 line by Hasbro, which is... If there's any toy that has been copied more than these, as far as dinosaurs go, I don't know. Please name it. But we have the Spinosaur. Stegosaur is a, is a normal one. I don't, I don't know where the Stegosaurs came from, but it's not been from Jurassic Park 3. Dilophosaurus, again Jurassic Park 3. Triceratops, Jurassic Park 3. And T-Rex, again Jurassic Park 3. And not only have we pirated Jurassic Park 3, allegedly, but we've also pirated, allegedly, freaking Jurassic World Evolution with the T-Rex on the side. <laughs> you serious? That just, oh, it's amazing. Even these renderings aren't correct. I don't know why, but there you go. You've got your T-Rex that's kind of grayish. It's not, it's green, and it's also got way more spots. The Triceratops' colors are way stronger. Spinosaur's the only one that kind of looks like it. And again, Dilophosaurus frill is not that red and orange. And Stegosaur, well, when I saw this, I thought, no. It just got worse and worse when I realized, wait, that's a T-Rex. Wait, that's the Spino. Dilophosaur? Triceratops? Evolution! Maybe they sold the rights, maybe Hasbro gave the, the rights for other companies to use these models. God knows. Anyway, here it is, allegedly. So these ones, just like the original Hasbros, are electronic. Now, the line that these are from was called the React Attack, and they each had an action feature that you could do, which would make the claws go or the mouth open, and then they had a button on the side that was a wound. So they, you know, when you press that wound, they would make a wounding sound. React, attack. Sort of like they attack and then they react to the attack. Okay, how about we get them out of the box and just see how good these toys really are. Uh, Stop. I can't help it with it. I got problems. So yes! Yeah. Now they just look like they've been in the, the trade because they've all got like ankle bracelets. They're, under, they're all under house arrest. Okay, time to snip. <laughs> I'll be amazed if the freaking Dilophosaurus can stand. So here we have it. Spinosaurus. There's one thing I love better than Spinosaurus. And that's bullet holes, people. Look at them. Oh, we get the Triceratops. Look at them. The T-Rex. Look at them. The Dilophosaurus. Look at them. Just drilled at the Stegosaurus. This isn't even part of what the Hasbro was. Look at them. Gorgeous. They've been shot so many. My pet peeve back from when Hasbro made the toys is back again. I'll have to check whether they actually did it with the old ones, because they might have. So. Let's first off look at the Spinosaurus. Now, there was actually two types of Spinosaur that came out in this style back when Jurassic Park 3 came out. The regular one, and then there was like, a, they did different biomes, and I think one was the Arctic. Anyway, so if we take a closer look at it, yes, just like before, they still have their React Attack slash in them, except for this time, it isn't painted. What's the name again? This is Kid Galaxy's own Spinosaur. I love that in the molding process, they've left like a skin tag on it. Really goes well with the bullet holes. <laughs> You've got a jaw that doesn't move, uh, which is interesting because it reacts. Oh no, it kind of does, but I don't think it's supposed to. I think it's just bending because I'm pushing it. What it used to do, it used to push this arm and then it would open its mouth and it would do the, th the, the thing. Turn the batteries on, so. How do we get this to work? Uh... Wow. You do stop, don't you? Okay. 
Right. <laughs> Hold on, one more time. Let's listen to that totally screen accurate Spinosaur call. Oh. Okay. I like how it's looking at me there. That's interesting. So that that's two calls. How many? How many more do you have? No. Okay. Just just that one. Oh, you're you're gonna keep going. Right. I thought I turned you. Okay. So it does it does three calls. Interesting. Very accurate Spinosaur call. And that's all you do. Okay. <laughs> but you know what it is. You know what it freaking is. Painted toenails and fingernails. If freaking company like this can do that and yet Mattel can't why are we still here <laughs> I don't I didn't even know what to say to that points for at least painting that I suppose oh wait hold on hold on hold on I spoke too soon we're looking at the t-rex a T-Rex, uh, yeah, no paint on the toenails or anything there, so. And as you see on the side, that was where its react attack was. I never owned the T-Rex or the Spinosaur, actually. I did own the Triceratops, and I did own the Dilophosaur, as well as the Pteranodon in this set. So, T-Rex, let's hear that accurate T-Rex. Okay. I mean, better than Jurassic Park's T-Rex. And let's hear the other one. I mean, is it snoring there? Well, there you have it. Um, it well, at least the tongue's painted. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> Put you there. Right, let's get onto the one here that actually isn't part of the Jurassic Park 3 line, the Stegosaur. Already, you can definitely tell it doesn't really fit in with those sorts of dinosaurs, especially design-wise. Stego, what you got to offer? <laughs> oh, orange eyes, ooh. I, I was kind of expecting uh, green eyes because it's a herbivore, but orange eye. Okay, that I think this is all different calls, which is quite interesting. He seems a, a lot quieter than the T Rex. Yeah. <laughs> This is beautiful symphony, a lovely chorus. For some reason, he's running around with a load of cheeks there. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's just got really thick bottom bit. Let's have a look at the Triceratops. I love this guy. There you go, so you would click this little rib cage there where you'd go, and then you would normally, with the react attack, you would pull the head back because the head was separate from the neck and it would do that. But let's see what a Triceratops sounds like. Oh. Oh, yes. Now that is royalty free. <laughs> There's like lizard dinosaur sound. And the second one. Hold up. I've heard this before. And there you go, the same one that the T Rex had. <laughs> the snoring. Now Dilophosaurus. This was always an interesting sculpt to me when I got it. It was it was so awkward. You had a little thing at the back. Although this, <gasps> you right, you could never take the crest of the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park Three. It was stuck on there. It would move up and down. You could get to the top of the head and down. But this one, <gasps> it looks like whether it's actually a design choice or whether it's just how they did it together. Oh yes, <laughs> that's, that's brilliant actually. Uh, this is something I wanted to do as a kid to this Dilophosaur specifically because I wanted it, you know, and then put the frill on when it attacks the people, but normally it just looks like that. However, the neck is way thicker than the head. <laughs> it makes the head look tiny. I don't think that's the sculpt from the, uh, the actual Dilophosaur that, you know, this is based on. I think that's a separate head sculpt. It's so weirdly proportioned. He's got tiny feet, tiny little claws, and a huge chunky body. <laughs> Which leads me to believe that the head, body, well, everything except for the body is from a different Dilophosaur. <laughs> Maybe? Allegedly. By squeezing his little jowls. Oh, uh, I think that's the Triceratops, that one. And it's as, oh, maybe it might be the Stegosaur. It's just as quiet. And, yeah, okay, okay. So, you have definitely got no original sounds. But what's brilliant about this is that I could make a Stegolophosaurus. There he is. Look at him. 
<laughs> what has science done? It's it's not horrendous. It's beautiful, Whitney. It's science. Should we set them all off at once? Are they all going? Are they all going? It's dinosaur chaos! Well, there you have it. What can we say? Well, what did we really expect? when it came to Kid Galaxy. I just thought this would be a fun little video just to showcase this. It's not very often that you actually get to see a Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex, Spino, Triceratops, Dilophosaur, all in one box, as well as the Jurassic World Evolution T-Rex. So guys, if you have enjoyed that video, I will keep my eye out just in case there is any more amazing mwah, gems like this in future. And until next time, well, never like it, I'll see you later. Bye. Again, louder with gusto. I bought you plastic.